Hello friends and welcome back. So, Nick Cage. Either you love him or you hate him. He's been in heaps of films from the good to the bad and then the questionable. You've probably seen him in things like Con Air, Face Off, Ghost Rider, The National Treasure series, or were there only two? I can't remember. More recently, The Sorcerer's Apprentice and other cult classics like The Wicker Man. Vampire's Kiss. One thing we can say for certain about Nick Cage is his acting style is... odd. A bit bizarre, even. And so it's for that reason that he's developed that cult following. People who enjoy his films for that edge of insanity that he brings to his characters. So, it got me into thinking, how much stuff, how much Nick Cage-themed things can I find on Wish. So I decided to Nick Cage my life with Wish. Now arrayed in front of me, I've got all the items that I got off of Wish. I just wanted to unbox them and have them ready to go. And it was during the unboxing that Alex came over and yeah, we just decided we needed to film because all of this stuff is, it's just amazing. So you already unboxed that. I did, I, I did. Can see an, I can see an eyeball sticking yeah. out there. That Alex has promising. gotten too curious, so she's like, but, and I've, I've cut this one open and I think you'll like this one. I, I know what this is, but I think you'll... Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Mouse pad! Mouse pad! Oh my god! <laughs> that face! It's like literally the most iconic Nicolas Cage face. That's absolutely Okay, terrifying. that's no better. That's no better. Oh good, it's double sided so you can both see it at the same time. This is what Alex is seeing right now. Oh good lord. <laughs> <laughs> what is that from? Is that actually from a movie or is that just no, like no. as Wish just tried to turn no, into no. a woman? No, that's the beauty of Photoshop and the internet. Oh can I, I have to take this one out. That's amazing! <laughs> I'm very excited to show you guys these ones in depth. What was that? Your Excited? Oh, I'm always excited, Alex. And this one, oh, this That's one you can't best. really see, but like... You can see nothing, but I'll put this one on. That's, that's gonna be good. That's so fun. Is that the last one? I think that's everything. That's it, that's it. Which okay. one am I most... Oh, I'm very excited oh, for this one, actually. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, just a little bit of unboxing. Now we need to get into the main course. So the first thing I got, or the first thing I'll show you, we'll start small, is this mouse pad. This is... This is beautiful, wouldn't you say? I have half a mind to take this to work, but on the other hand, I'm not sure if my co-workers will take me seriously or if I'll just get fired on the spot because this thing is just creepy AF. So this was a $6 purchase from Wish. All things considered, I know nothing about mouse pads. I think the last time I used a mouse pad would have been years and years and years ago. I've kind of just thrown them by the wayside, but I would, I guess it's a decent enough mouse pad for a novelty at least. Um, the quality, you know, doesn't look like it's gonna break. Looks like it's gonna do its job. I mean, look, let's face it, it's a mouse pad. What, what do you want from this thing? It's just a piece of fabric that the, you know, the mouse can run over and detect the surface changes and move your mouse across the screen. It's all it needs to do. It's great. It's, <laughs> it's a little bit off-putting, but if you're a die-hard Nick Cage fan, then by all means, go for it. The next thing I'll show you is the item that started it all. Finding this on Wish wasn't the first time I encountered this. We were over at uh, a friend's place and I saw this on their couch and I just knew I had to have it. And it was in the search for this that I discovered that there was more than one Nick Cage themed item and then the idea was born. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this fully prepared because at the moment it's just flat pack. But let me go give it its finishing touches and then I'll show you. Right. So that took longer than I thought. It turns out putting pillows in pillow cases is a lot harder than I imagined. And also I think this pillow that we've got is a bit too big for this pillow case. Uh, it was all I had lying around so I just went with it. But where's Nick? Trust me, he's there. He's just hiding in plain sight. This is, this is now my favorite pillow in the world. Isn't this thing great? So, uh, double-sided sequins, printed obviously with Nick Cage's face on one side, red on the other side, and just, you know, the sky's the limit. You can just, you can just have it all Nick Cage and then just go for a angry swipe up the front. Nick Cage peeking over a red wall. Fine by me. 
Do whatever you want with this pillow. Hours of fun, I just love these things. I paid for this one $6. The same price as the mouse pad, I think this is more value. Mind you, it is supply your own pillow, you're just getting the pillow case, but I don't care. That's great for me. Moving on to the next thing. So this one, another pillowcase, a bit more pricey than the last one, comes in at $15, but there's more pillowcase for your dollars. And let me show you. This is a full-size pillowcase that you can sleep on, and isn't it beautiful? This is something I can imagine the result of watching Face Off on Acid, or something along those lines. That is, <laughs> that is the only thing I can picture here. This is so psychedelic. And absolutely, this is gonna be on my bed now. I'm gonna sleep on this, why wouldn't I? If I've got a beautiful Nick Cage pillow that I can rest my head on, you bet I'm going to. You bet. So yeah, this one, $15 from the, with the fabric on this, I just wanna comment on it straight away. I don't know if this is gonna be a great fabric to sleep on or not. With the print over the top of it, it gives it a very almost plasticky feel, um, a little bit, no, not tacky, a little bit more satiny, but I know it's not a satin fabric, but just with the print, it makes it feel like satin. So quite cool to the touch. That might be advantage sleeping on it. Um, but then again, it may not breathe as well as cotton, so it could just get a little bit you know, hot and irritating over the course of an evening. So don't know if this is gonna be a great or terrible pillow to sleep, or sorry, pillow case to sleep on, but I'm loving it. Even if it's just a display pillow that you remove before going to sleep, don't you want that? Don't, don't you want all of, all of this pillowcake? No, no? That's fine. I'll take it. So taking a break from pillows, don't worry, I do have a couple more pillowcases to show you as well. But let's look at some of the clothing items. You know those things that you see, and the longer you stare at it, the more you notice and the better it gets? This is one of those shirts. Let me just hold this up to you and I'll try and hold up most of it. Yeah, let's just hold it up like this. Just gonna hold this here for a second. Just, just look at all those panels. Just let it sink in. Is this not the best shirt that you've ever seen in your life? Every single panel is perfect. I can't fault this shirt. I cannot fault it. Uh, as for the quality of it, nice stretchy material. I think it might actually hold up quite well. Can't say for certain if the print is gonna survive well in the wash. That could be a downfall for this shirt because since the entire thing is a print, if there's any loss of color or um, detail on this shirt, it's gonna be very noticeable across the entire thing. So that'll be a downside if it fails in the wash test, but for the moment, uh, I'm enjoying wearing it, and I think it looks pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. And as for price, this one came in at about $16, which isn't too bad, all things considered. Keeping in with the t-shirt theme, there's this next one, and I'm struggling to try and decide whether I like the last one or this one more. They're both amazing, for different reasons. Um, this is just a very nice quality white t-shirt, but let me, let me show you first. This is the important part. Bam. I am so much in love with this shirt. I would say most days, actually, how are you feeling? How are you feeling on the Nick Cage scale? Most days I'm feeling excited, or otherwise carefree, and bees. I, today I'm feeling bees. Thank you, Wicker Man, for that gem. Now this shirt was more expensive than the last one. This one was a $25 buy, but I get the feeling I'll be able to wear this a little bit more, so I'll get more bang for my bucks, which is why I'm not too worried about it being $25. And to be perfectly honest, I mean, at most stores, that's probably what you'd pay for a t-shirt any anyway, so I may as well get a funny one, right? But I can't just wear t-shirts. I need other clothes to go along with it. So keeping in with the Nick Cage theme, obviously, I found this hoodie. This amazing, Nick Cage face hoodie. Very reminiscent of the mouse pad, uh, but printed all over an entire hoodie. And not only did I get the hoodie, I got the matching track pants as well. Although I say matching, I'm a little bit upset. Have a look at me wearing them together and you'll see what I mean. I'm just a little bit concerned that in the track pants, the, to the skin toning wasn't matched to the hoodie. So you've got this very pinky sort of reddish hue going on in your trouser department, whereas the hoodie, it's kind of got the, like this orange tone going on. Slightly different print too, um, but it's close enough, you can obviously see it's meant to be the same print, but that color difference makes it that it just doesn't match, it doesn't look quite right together. So that's a little bit disappointing, but as far as quality of materials go, they're not too bad. I wouldn't call this a plush 
hoodie, and I wouldn't call them plush tracksuit pants. It's like a polyester tight knit material. Uh, the pants though, seem a bit thicker than the hoodie, so they'll, they would probably be quite warm. This would be an autumn or spring hoodie. Wouldn't wear it in the dead of winter if it gets particularly cold where you live. Now how much did I pay for the both of them combined? Looks like I went for $28 on the hoodie and $22 on the pants, coming to a grand total of $50 for this outfit. Uh, was it worth it? I don't know, looking at them now, maybe not. But on the other hand, looking at it from the perspective of I am going to stand out like a sore thumb and everyone's just gonna be digging my Nick Cage merch, yeah, that's worth it, right? Plus I can even style it with one of these other t-shirts. So, win-win. Yeah, this is staying on now. And I gotta say, I like the feeling of it. It's, um, it's got a very smooth, cooling sensation on the skin. Much like the psychedelic pillow casing, it's got a satin sort of feel and, and texture. Don't know how breathable it is, but if you're not doing anything too strenuous and you're not getting very sweaty, probably wouldn't be too bad. Wouldn't wear it for a workout though. Bad times. But moving on, we've got another pillowcase here and I'm torn guys. I'm really, really torn between this one and old psychedelic over there. But let me put it into a pillow. Sorry, let me put a pillow into it and it around a pillow and I'll show you this next one. All right, so I encountered a bit of a problem with the next one. It seems that the pillow case size isn't as large as the psychedelic one. And so my pillows didn't fit into it, but I managed to scrounge around and I found some old, you know how pillows like deflate over time, they get all like sad and saggy and all that sort of stuff. Well, I found one of those and I was able to stuff it into this small size pillow case. So bear with me, it's not the best presentation, but I think it works. You've already seen this one in the unboxing, but this is it inside of a pillow case. It's kind of my fault for not having the right size pillow, but also I was pretty sure that I selected the exact same size as the other pillow case when I ordered. And so I don't really know why there's such a massive size discrepancy, but like the pillow that I was gonna put this into, it comes out to about here and up to about there. So it just, there was no possible way I could have squeezed this sucker inside. This pillowcase is more of a flannelette sort of texture. If you're more a fan of that versus a satin finish or, or texture, then this would be fine for you. And the print is really well done. Like the color is fantastic. The detail is right there and can I say, the Photoshop work on putting Nick Cage with long hair into a spacesuit, mint. On this one, I spent $8. So given the fact that the psychedelic one was 15, I only spent eight on this. I'm not too worried about the fact that it doesn't quite fit and you know, it makes sense. I paid a little bit extra money. I got a better product. This one costs less, I pay for it. So be it, that's fine. I've got enough other Nick Cage merchandise to keep me happy for years to come. And we're not even done yet. There's still more Nick Cage merch. So, oh, what do I still have left here? I've got one t-shirt, one pillowcase. Let's go with the t-shirt because I want to fill, finish up with one more pillowcase because I think it's gonna be the best. So this third shirt, another full print on the entire thing. I think they blew up the image a little bit too much. It's not quite crisp, not very defined. Uh, but from a distance, it's gonna do the job. So let me just hold it up for you and show you. <laughs> Isn't that just? Stunning. So this shirt, the fabric actually doesn't feel too bad on the skin. Again, it's got that nice cool sort of sensation and since it feels very similar to that quick dry um, stuff that all of those rash shirts are made out of for beach goers, this would, I mean, you know, wouldn't be too bad to wear at a beach, to be fair. Uh, it would dry off fairly quickly, so maybe that's what you'd use this shirt for. Maybe you'd wear this at the beach. I don't know, maybe you wouldn't wear it anywhere. That is also a valid option. <laughs> and this t-shirt goes for $15. So a little bit cheaper than the last t-shirt. And like I said, with all the quality differences, I think that's fair enough. It should have been cheaper. So you get what you pay for on Wish. I can't stress that enough. If you're not spending enough, well, if you're not spending much money to begin with, you're not gonna get much product. And it's always a shot in the dark on Wish. You know what, this last pillow may be the greatest success story of getting the right pillowcase for the right pillow filling because they're about the right size. So that's a win for me. So here it is, the last pillow. Just let that sink in. I love it so much. So this case is printed on a very interesting 
fabric. Um, it's like a open weave, kind of like a, a picture potato sacks, like hessian bags sort of stuff. Not as coarse and as open weave as that, but it's it's very similar. I don't know what someone who is a textile major would call that. Someone would probably know the exact name for that style of fabric, but that's what this is printed onto. So it's got a very um, rugged, organic feel to it, which I think would be quite nice for a bit of a throw pillow, you know, putting around your house on either a couch or on your bed. So as far as a decorative pillow goes, this is fantastic. I actually really like this pillowcase. And the print work is magnificent. Very rich colours and tones. The detail is very much on point. I don't, I cannot fault this pillowcase. The one exception being just where it was transported. So this had been folded up for transporting. Running straight down the middle, it looks as if some of the weave has been pulled a little bit down that central line because of being folded. That's not necessarily a manufacturing issue, it's just that it probably shouldn't have been folded up like that to be sent around the world. But, that's what happens. You're ordering off Wish. You can't guarantee how your parcels are going to be handled. But when you take into consideration the fact that I only spent $5 on this pillowcase, that's actually not too bad. So now on to the fun part of things. You may know that we've got some friends who have opened up another YouTube channel called The Marshmallow Gals. If you've seen any of their videos, then you know who I'm talking about. If you haven't, I'll put their link down in the description below to their channel, check them out. They're gonna be here literally any second. So I'm gonna go get myself settled on the couch and surround myself with pillows and all of this Nick Cage merch, dressed head to toe in his face, just staring at whoever walks in. So I'm just gonna go get settled in and see what happens. Stop, 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 stop. Just, just so the audience can see. It's so pretty. Oh, this is pretty. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, coming. You're welcome now. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! You got the Nick Cage stuff. Welcome to our humble abode. Sam, how long have you been sitting there for? <laughs> us to make this video. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Look, I need to get rid of these oh, other You look so good. <laughs> Am I crazy? You look so good. Am I like... Oh, hello. Okay. Signed. I'm into it. Do I, do I look so comfortable right now? I the pets feel are very so unsettling. sick. It's so disgusting. Aren't they just? This. <laughs> this. 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 <laughs> this is like that movie Teeth or whatever it's called. <laughs> wow. Boom. Oh my god, the Mona Lisa. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Spider-Man? Who's this one? Oh, and, and this one. That's not hair. That's an eagle on top <laughs> of the <his head. laughs> Oh dear. You know what? <laughs> Stunning. Done. Done. Squad done. goals. Oh, Stunning. Squad no. goals. I'm actually gonna take- wait, I'm gonna wear it underneath. Point. I feel like my true self. Yeah, this yep. is amazing. Yeah, this is your final form right now. You didn't- you didn't know this until just now. Yeah. My power level? You should sleep with that. I'm going to. Do, do you dare test me? No, I, that is my sleeping companion now. You can feel the Nick rage. Is it yeah. Nick rage? <laughs> Here, do disgusting things to his reversible face, please. <laughs> it's like so haunting. Oh. Now he's his true self. That's Nick rage. That's Nick rage. <laughs> Nick rage. <laughs> oh, oh, good lord. Come on, guys, all stand together. I want to. And everyone grab a pillow and all look very, very oh, happy. Oh, 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 um, I don't know which one I want. Can I have. Oh, um, good. Oh. Can I have Sir Cage? Sir Cage. <laughs> you may have Sir Cage. Amazing. 